Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today I'm gonna to be showing you guys my December favorites. These are the favorites of this month. Don't worry, I'm still gonna be doing a yearly favorites also very soon, so don't you guys worry about that. But today I have a couple products that I wanna talk about that have been just working amazing, and I hope that you guys love it. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video, and if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so let's get started. I did want to say thank you to Glaze for sponsoring a portion of this video today. Later in the video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use their products and how I got such glossy and healthy looking hair. So watch out for that. Okay, so first let's talk about a lip product that I've been obsessed with. So this is actually from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Holy Hydration Lip Mask. Now, I did talk about this in my new video from e.l.f. If you guys were obsessed with the gel pop collection from elf and you were also obsessed with this lip mask um, they are interchangeable I've been looking to replace this because this is honestly like one of my favorite lip masks at the drugstore and I decided to try this one out because obviously it looks very similar and guys they definitely are it has that same like almost like jelly gel like consistency that is nice and thick on the lips but it doesn't feel heavy it lasts a very long time it feels so nice it actually also looks very very beautiful and these are just some of my favorite lip masks you really don't have to pay that much money for a lip mask like I did mention in that video it reminds me a lot of the Laneige lip glowy balm except obviously in like a jar it's just like that gel consistency to where it feels nice and thick but it's not sticky but it does give your lips a beautiful like a mirror shine it looks beautiful on its own or over uh, lip products so obviously this is very inexpensive and I love it and it smells like berries it's great it actually smells like grape it smells really nice and I love it okay the next product I want to talk about I guess let's just keep it really quickly in the elf uh, family I just want to give a quick shout out to their brand new luminous putty bronzers you guys know if you watch my channel that I'm absolutely obsessed with these guys the putty blushes the luminous ones I love both I love both formulas but I'm just obsessed with the luminous ones because it gives your skin of course luminosity but it's not greasy or shimmery it's like the perfect in between it also is a cream to a powder so it does last a very long time and it also works over powder as well as over cream my favorite shade right now is Sun Chaser it's a really beautiful mid-tone like olive bronzy shade so yeah these are really good products of course they're very affordable and they actually build up they don't go like too heavy right off the bat they build up really nicely and even after you powder your face that shine will still shine through they're super nice and I definitely give these a thumbs up they're beautiful okay let's talk about some blushes so I wanted to give a quick shout out to this blush right here this is the Alme healthy hue blush I did get the shade wild berry and I heard about this blush for a very long time but I never got it and I absolutely love it this is like a healthy hue blush it's uh not gonna be like shimmery but it does give you that glow from within it's so beautiful it is a powder formula but it's like very nice and thin and blendable and it just looks so pretty i already have so much blush on right now but maybe i can show you guys a little bit of it um a little goes a long way and it just adds the most beautiful flush and glow and i love it i've actually well, let me do it on this side too since we're already here. I've been putting this as like my last step of my makeup. I will add other blushes, but this just adds that like last type of glow on the cheeks, glow from within. It's so beautiful. Um, I don't hear a lot of people talking about Alme and this is a really nice product. They also have a couple other shades and it's really beautiful. It's definitely not like super affordable. It is a little bit more on like the higher end of drugstore, but I think it's worth every penny. Okay, so speaking of blush, another one that I'm just so in love with that is not a new find, but like a re, re discovery find is actually this blush. So you guys probably haven't seen this very often, but this is the J Cat Beauty Blush Mellow. This one is in the shade Berries and Cream. This is such an interesting formula. It's like a cream to powder. Like when you touch it, it feels creamy 
but it looks like a powder. It's so beautiful. If you guys enjoy the um, Item Beauty creamy powdery blushes, this is essentially the exact same thing, except it's not uh, luminous because the ones from Item Beauty, they have that same formula, but they do have more of a luminous finish. I do think they have luminous finished ones, but this one specifically that I'm talking about is matte. And then I did also have another shade to show you guys. So I actually bought this shade years and years ago. This is called Cherry Limeade. And let me tell you guys, I've had this for years and the formula is still nice and creamy. Look at that color. If you want like a hot pink, this uh, Cherry Limeade is really, really pretty. And like I mentioned, like, that formula does not dry out and it's so pigmented. I love it because it works so beautiful over creams as well as powders. That's the, the darker one. And the cool thing is that this actually lasts a very, very long time. Um, usually you guys know I apply a bunch of blush on my face, but for one specific video, I only applied this and it lasted all day and all night till I washed my face at the end of the night. So it's beautiful, it lasts very long, it has a stunning formula and they do have a lot of really, really beautiful shades. Okay, let's talk about a highlighter that I don't use as highlighter, but I like to use it let me just show you guys. So I don't know if this is brand new, but I did recently get it in PR this month. It's the Lottie London Diamond Bounce Illuminated Highlighter in the shade Frosted. Now, it's obviously a highlighter, but I have to say, for me personally, it's a little too chunky and glittery to be putting on my face, but how beautiful does it look on the eyes? This is what I have as a little shimmer. It is like dry and chunky, and see, sorry, I have blush everywhere on my fingers, but this is what it looks like. You see this? Look at that. See how it just looks like glitter? This is giving me the same vibe of like the Fenty Diamond Bomb Glow Bomb. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about, but this is a dry formula. I feel like the Fenty one is more of like a cream to powder. This is just like strictly powder, but guys, if you're looking for like sparkles on the eyes or if you want to put it in your inner corner highlight it is so beautiful and it's from the drugstore i just feel like a lot of people have been obsessed with like the urban decay space cowboy or the color pop ritz and yeah these are stunning i actually wear these every single day but if you want to add an extra pup of shimmer look at that or honestly if you just like glitter all over your body you can also just really beautiful and again super super inexpensive so i had to tell you guys about it alrighty guys and for a hair favorite you guys already know how i'm obsessed with the glaze super gloss i'm going to be showing you guys how i use it today so thank you to glaze for sponsoring this portion of the video let me show you guys how i get such glossy and healthier looking hair so for those of you guys that don't know glaze super gloss is a semi-permanent tinted color conditioner for naturally vibrant glossy color and it will care and repair the look of your hair in one use it's going to enhance your natural color make it pop it's also going to give you that amazing mirror glaze shine. It's going to leave your hair nice and silky and it leaves your hair feeling healthier with less damage in one use. As you guys see, I am using the transparent one just to give my hair a nice gloss without actually changing the tone. As you guys can see, it's super easy to use. All you have to do is apply it on dry or damp hair, wait 10 minutes, rinse it out and style. And then your hair is nice and shiny. You don't have to mix anything. There is no mess. Remember guys, this is hair care. It does not damage your hair and the colored ones kind of like a tinted moisture moisturizer for your hair. It's going to enhance your current shade and it's going to be really nice and glossy. The Super Gloss is powered by Glassyplex, which is a complex of intensive conditioning and glossifying ingredients. And it also has a combination of naturally derived Babasu oil and the expert developed intensive conditioning ingredients, which include biodegradable silicone alternative that gives your hair a super healthy, glossy, sleek finish only from this product. And lastly, Glaze also uses kind color technology in all the formulas, which is combining gentle pigments with hydrating fatty acids so that it conditions and repairs as it colors. It's essentially a color infused conditioner. And by the way, it has no parabens, no silicones. It's vegan, cruelty free, recyclable packaging. They are available on Amazon UK and US and it ships to Canada on the Glaze Hair website, which is glazehair.co. They do have nine different colored shades as well as a transparent one that I use and they do last from five to 10 washes and it'll leave your hair looking nice and shiny. I do have a coupon code for you guys for 20% off. I will put it right here so you guys can 
can use it and save some money. Okay, moving on, I wanted to give a quick shout out to a brush that you guys have been seeing me talk in every single video about, and it is this brush. It's already wonky because of how much I use it. So this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles. It's the brand new brush collection. It's the L34. This is just such a nice brush to apply cream, bronzer, or blush. It's like very soft, but it's very dense. So it really grabs on and packs on the product, but it blends it very beautifully. I like the little dome shape because you can really be precise with it. But once you like press down, it really does blend it out beautifully. It is what I used on my face today for like my cream products. And it's just super nice. And I also just love the aesthetic. I've also been loving this one. This is the L34. This could be a very soft like blush brush. You can also use it for like highlighter. What I love it for is to dust like baking off my eyes. It is truly the most softest and like wispy type of brush and I love it. So honestly, all the brushes that I've tried from this collection are super, super nice. Um, okay, let me talk about this one. This is the L36. This is like the best all over like lid shade. These, these are just so nice. If you guys are thinking about buying any of these brushes, just know that they're super good quality and they're also very beautiful. And to go with that collection, I did just want to give a quick shout out to this palette. I've been using the crap out of it. Again, also Laura Lee. This is the Whimsical Nudes. It just has such a beautiful whimsical nude shade range. These mattes are bomb. I actually have the black one as eyeliner and I also love using this shade right here to like clean up my eyeshadow. It is so pigmented. This reddish one and yellow one make really nice transition shades. This green one is stunning and then all these shimmer shades are beautiful and of course it does come with a mirror. I really did love this collection. I think she did such a good job and it's also a palette that I think is versatile all year long and I love that. I don't think it just looks like a holiday palette. I think it's a really, really nice collection and I love it. Okay, and then lastly, I just have a couple lip products. So I wanted to give a quick shout out to Moira Cosmetics. So this is the Moira Signature Lip Pencil. It's my new favorite pencil. It's in the shade Terracotta. Um, I'm running out of space here, but this is such a beautiful, like in between shade. It looks very warm on camera, but it's not that warm. It's like literally like half brown, half mauve, which is like my favorite. And I am wearing it today. Obviously I am wearing lipstick, but this reminds me a lot of the NYX lip liners that everybody likes. Obviously they're just as affordable. They're super creamy and they're that perfect in between to where they're not overly creamy to where they just go everywhere. Like these are really nice. They stay on super affordable and they have so many beautiful like nude shades. Okay. And then I guess we only have one last product to talk about and it is what I'm wearing on my lips. You guys know I am obsessed with the Maybelline liquid vinyl lipsticks. Literally the only thing I wear at this point and they came out with new shades and I've been wearing these so much. Don't be fooled. They're not that dark. Um, so I've been wearing the shade Punchy. Punchy is like a deeper, medium tone, cool tone type of nude. Look at that. So beautiful. And I've also been wearing the shade Peppy. And this one looks like it's going to be like a very dark red but it's not. It's almost like a, hmm, how would you describe this? It's like the sister of this shade with just like more reddish tones. So I'm actually just wearing both on my lips right now. I've been really enjoying uh, combining them. This is what they look like combined. Obviously you don't need both, but I'm just gonna let you guys know that especially if you have deeper skin tone, they came out with some shades. These are some of the lighter ones. They have some deep, deep shades for darker skin tones or for vampy looks for lighter skin tones. And you guys know, they smell great, they last a long time, they look like gloss and lipsticks. And I've said this a thousand times, but I'll say it again. I wore the shade Peachy my wedding day and I never reapplied. Like I'm telling you guys, these are it. These are the best. Alrighty guys, so that is the end of the video. Those are my December favorites. Like I mentioned earlier, watch out for the yearly favorites. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I will link everything down below for y'all. And thank you guys so much for another amazing year here on YouTube. I love you so much. Happy New Year and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.